Inside Future Zips, we are going to show you our team locker room. Um, so come on in. They have this lounge area here um, that they're able to hang out, um, watch some TV before practice, um, in between classes. Um, they like to take naps here uh, prior to games. It's a really comfortable couch, so um, all of our players claim their spots uh, before games, and um, it's just a great space for them um, to just relax, you know, before practice or before games. And then connected um, to that room is your traditional locker room here. Each player on the roster has their own individual space, um, custom wood lockers. Each player also has um, a little reminder of our core values. So that's just a little reminder of what our program is based on. So this is our um, game goal board. And so we have all our opponents, both our non-conference and our conference opponents up here. And after every game, uh, we'll look at the stat sheet and we'll review the film and we will take a look at um, our goals within the game. Uh, what we found is when we had a lot of these Z's that we call, uh, we usually got the most important one, which was the win. So here's our team lounge. Um, we're really happy to have this amazing facility just for our women's basketball team. This is a, a great wall for us. It's a photo collage. Um, a lot of um, things that are really important in our program. First and foremost, um, academics. So we have our two highest GPA students, athletes up there. Um, sophomore Kendall Miller and then senior Caitlin Berry. Uh, we also highlight some of the community service activity that we do. We also have a few alumni pictures up here. And then we also have to get our family up there. This is an alumni board, and so we ask all our alums to come back and see us and watch us play um, and also get their signature up here and so they know that they're always going to be a part of our program. Over on this wall, uh, we highlight some of our zips in the pros. Um, so currently we have five student athletes that have gone overseas or are currently playing overseas. Kara Murphy, um, who played over in Sweden. Anita Brown, down below, who's playing uh, currently right now in Australia. Hannah Luberg, who was a first team all Mac. Um, she played over in Poland for one season. Carrie Guyton, who's our um, Akron graduate assistant right now, uh, played over in Morocco. Rachel Tekka, who is our all time leading scorer and leading rebounder, uh, played over in Iceland and also got um, a Washington Mystics uh, training camp invitation. We have these awesome reclining chairs um, that the girls get to relax in uh, when they're watching movies or watch, when they're watching the WNBA finals. Over here um, on the other side of our lounge is our kitchen area. We stock this with a lot of healthy nutritional stuff for them uh, throughout the year. Uh, they can come in here, grab bagels, grab peanut butter, uh, sandwiches, fruits, vegetables, all that good stuff. We also have a smoothie station, uh, which they can make different smoothies. Uh, we also have an Instapot where they can cook some hard boiled eggs, um, some rice, all that good stuff. This is our trophy case. Um, we've been able over the last couple of years to fill this uh, trophy case up. We've had some great accomplishments here. Um, Casey Castle, who was our point guard on our NCA team, led the nation in um, assist. We've had some WBCA All-Americans um, in Rachel Tekka and Sina King. We have also had um, some WBCA academic All-Americans as well. This is our weight room. Uh, this weight room is just for men's and women's basketball and volleyball. It was renovated uh, this past year. They put a brand new floor in here, uh, put some new racks up, um, new weights. You'll see a lot of it is free weight based. Um, so I know our strength coaches who do a phenomenal job uh, really want them to be able to lift in free space. Um, and be able to control their body weight. They also are very big on injury prevention. We're gonna show you our office area now. 
And out front, we have some big pictures of some of the best players to ever wear the Akron uniform. These three right here actually were um, the winningest class in school history with Anita Brown, Megan Barilla, and Dee Gibson. Kara Murphy uh, was a local product from Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's. This was the class that took us to the NCAA tournament, um, highlighted by Rachel Tekka, another local product from Akron Hoban. And then also outside of our office, we highlight all of our current players. Um, so everybody gets their picture up here uh, with their name and their number. And then when they graduate, um, they can take that and have a little keepsake item from their time uh, here at Akron. Another new addition to our office area uh, was this family board that we put up and some great pictures uh, through the years of some unbelievable moments in Akron women's basketball history. All right, let's check out the office. So this is our office area, um, and I'm blessed to have a phenomenal staff that works tirelessly um, to elevate Akron women's basketball. So this is Coach Bree's office. All right, we won't pop too much in there, um, but she's a phenomenal guard coach for us. Um, played at Ohio State, definitely has some skills, uh, has a great jump shot, um, but unbelievable basketball mind, really relates well to our, our players. Um, works with me on the offensive end and works with our twos and threes. This is Coach Day's office. Um, Coach Day is my associate head coach and recruiting coordinator. Um, she does an unbelievable job with our post players. Um, she also handles our defense. Um, I know she can't wait to get you guys on campus um, to get to know you and also show you around. Um, but you will really enjoy working with her. Over here, uh, we have Coach Brooklyn. Um, Coach Brooklyn works with our shooters, um, as well as working with Coach Day closely with our defense. She's also in charge of our academics um, and works closely with our amazing academic support staff um, and just does a lot of great things uh, for our program. Candace, um, who is our Director of Basketball Operation, um, has been with me here at Akron uh, for all of my 12 years um, and does a great job with our team travel um, and just making sure that we are all set to go and travel uh, first class. Back here um, in this office area is where a lot of things happen that really is just the heart and soul of our program. So um, our video coordinator is housed back here. Um, Davian does a phenomenal job um, videoing um, different things for our program, um, as well as scouts and all that. Um, Nicole, our graduate assistant, her office is here as well, and just does a phenomenal job with a lot of little things um, that are so important to our program. All right, now we're gonna come into my office. First off, um, over here, everybody needs to have a coffee station, okay, for those late nights um, and early mornings. Um, and our staff is avid coffee drinkers, so we will do a lot of that uh, throughout the season. A picture that was given to me, um, you know, that highlights our 2014 NCAA team um, and those players. Um, and again, what a special moment that was. Uh, to win the MAC tournament and then to go on and play Purdue in the NCAA tournament. Uh, we have the net and uh, the trophy from our NCAA team who won the MAC championship. We also have two Player of the Year trophies. Rachel Tekka, also Cinna King, won Player of the Year for us. But this is a, my space. This is where a lot of things happen, a lot of decisions um, are made, a lot of scouts, a lot of film work. My family here, they're an amazing support system for me. Uh, wouldn't be able to do uh, what I love to do without them. So I have an amazing husband in Drew, and then these two little guys um, that are just the biggest Zip fans. Uh, we have Luke. Um, who's seven years old, and Ben, who is three. And uh, they love to wear those zip shirts. They love to come to all the games and cheer our girls on. And again, they're looking for the next great zip that they can cheer on and uh, get to know you guys. So this is our um, arena called James A. Rhodes Arena. We call it the JAR for short. Uh, again, a phenomenal space. We have a new video board, uh, which we put in a few years ago, which is awesome. has phenomenal graphics of our starting lineup and in-game uh, promotions. This is our court. Um, obviously, no baskets are up there right now. Uh, but the layout, layout for practice for us is we'll have six baskets um, around the arena 
which allows us to do a lot of breakdown uh, drills with our guards and our posts. Um, big believer in shooting, so I'm a big offensive coach. Uh, so the more shots we can get up, the better. You'll see some banners up there. Um, again, talking about the history of our program. Um, so I've talked a lot about you know, our NCAA tournament team. So that banner is up there as well as um, different WNIT tournaments. We're all about uh, winning championships here and getting to postseason. So again, uh, looking for players like yourself uh, to take us to that next level.